Welcome to the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. Arizona basketball coach Sean Miller met with the media on Wednesday and talked about recruiting. Here's what he had to say. How do you handle this time of year? I mean, you can only talk so much about recruits. Do you just recruit as hard as you can and, and hope for the best? Or do you uh, look for guys you've already recruited to help you with recruiting? How do you handle or strategize uh, this time of year? Well, I think first and foremost, what you do is the priority is the current players that are already on your campus. And, you know, I'm, I'm certain we can talk about it here as these guys leave, but, you know, it, it's players like Kadeem, it's players like Alonzo, Ray Smith, who, you know, this season was taken from him with an injury. He's now working towards his uh, his comeback. But, you know, my experience has always told me, and if, if you'd say, what, what did you learn from watching the Final Four National Championship? The value of returning players. It's not just those who aren't here yet. Clearly, talent and depth are a big part of it. But it's so much about those that have been in the tournament and lost early. You know, if you were Villanova a year ago, if you are Villanova two years ago, they had tremendous regular seasons, but they weren't able to get out of that, that first weekend. I'm sure that was a sticking point, something they thought a lot about each of the last two off seasons. And the next thing you know, they break through and, and, and win the whole thing. Uh, so I, I think it's about setting a course up for those guys who were a part of our program this past year to have a great spring fueled by a tremendous summer and a fall so that they all return uh, to, to our team a year from now, more mature, bigger and stronger, better, adding different things to their game that they didn't have a year ago. And I think as long as that's at the forefront, you know, recruiting, you know, that will add to that. But that has to be first and foremost um, in place. And I think that's what's so exciting about these two guys for us. You know, you have Kadeem that, you know, redshirted, played a big role on this year's team, is coming back for his last year, uh, and he's going to be very hungry to finish strong. You have Alonzo, who made a very big decision, gave it a lot of thought. He was coming back for a second year and uh, with a lot to prove and, and I think a lot at stake in his own right. So, you know, when you, when you have the least types of guys returning, I think everybody seems to follow their lead. And, and that's really the, at the forefront of, of our program right now, uh, these guys. Um, but do you, speaking that you kind of allude to the recruiting, do you expect you still have do you still think you can add a freshman to this class or two, or or uh, are you looking mostly at transfers at this point? No, if if we have it the way we see it today, um, I, I think you you'll find that we'll have a group of six or seven. How that shakes out in terms of freshmen or a transfer remains to be seen. But I think that's what our team needs based on what we've lost and then moving forward. And the good news, if you love recruiting, uh, the following year we're going to probably bring seven more in. So if you love to recruit, this is definitely the place to show up at right now. You know, I don't. I understand that it's the name of the game, but uh, no, nobody loves bringing seven in. And, you know, it, it can get away from you if you're not careful. But it's, it's a cycle that we're trying to balance as best we can. With, with transfers, uh, with, with, you know, retention. Players like Kadeem coming back for their last year, Alonzo not leaving after year one, but hopefully coming back for year two if, if it's in his best interest to do so. So uh, all those factors make today as a college basketball coach, you know, it's, you know, you're dealing with, with a fast moving world, you know, in, in many ways. Along those lines, I know you can't be specific or talk specifics. Um, the anticipation for a couple of guys. Do, do you know one way or the other or have any kind of hint of what's going to happen? I don't. I, I have an informed opinion, but nothing more yeah, than that. Yeah, 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 I don't. I don't. No one's given me the wink, you know. Um, right. So, and that's the other thing, you know, balancing your emotions. I mean, these are young kids making big decisions, and you know, we're 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 right now as much as anything starting uh, our recruiting of the class of 2017. You know, the NCAA gives you back-to-back -back weekends where you're able to evaluate. And, uh, you know, who are we evaluating on those weekends? Rising seniors and rising juniors in high school. So in many ways, you know, you're already ahead of, of looking at that because those guys, some of them make early decisions. You know, they don't all wait until the spring. Some of them will start to think about making a college decision this summer or this fall.
coming up. So we have a lot moving, and that's why staff is so important. And, you know, I'm, I think our staff right now is, is tremendous, you know, with the experience uh, that we have of, of Joe and Mark, of former head coaches, guys that have been at this for a long time. And then, you know, uh, Coach Richardson, somebody who's been with me for now a decade and he has a lot of experience. So uh, that group right there is essential. We're, we're a team in and of our, ourselves. And, you know, you think about we have workouts this afternoon. You're trying to finalize this year's class. You're moving ahead towards next year's class. You know, sometimes people say, hey, you're enjoying the off season. It's not here yet. You know, I think May's more of that. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.